Good morning, Mom! My name is Jessica S. Estudillo and I will be reporting about Johan Henrich Pestalozzi, a Swiss pedagogy and educational reformer who exemplified Romanticism in his approach. Pestalozzi founded several educational institutions both in German and French-speaking regions of Switzerland and wrote many works explaining his revolutionary modern principles of education. His motto was learning by head, hand, and heart. One of his famous books was How Gertrude Teaches Her Children. It was written in 1801 and it was a critic of conventional schooling and prescription for educational reform, rejecting corporal punishment, rote memorization, and bookishness. Ayo po ni Pestelotzi yung masyadong uh, harsh sa mga bata. And ang gusto niya po is learning through experience. So, mahalaga sa kanya or gusto niya na ang mga bata ay natututo kapag ang isang bagay ay kanilang nahawakan, nakikita, naamoy, at nararamdaman. Pestalozzi envisioned schools that were home-like institution where teachers actively engage students in learning by sensory experiences. Okay po? So, sabi niya po, um, ang mga bata kapag nasa school, para rin silang nasa bahay. Why? Dahil po, there is love, there is security, and there is someone to guide them. At yun po ay ang kanilang teacher. Pestalozzi's method rested on two major premises. The first one, children need an emotionally secure environment as the setting for successful learning. Mahalaga po sa mga bata na maramdaman nila na sila ay welcome, that they belong, that they are loved inside the classroom. So, kapag po naramdaman nila na uh, hindi sila at is sa classroom, lalo na po yung mga preschoolers, hindi po sila papasok. Lalo na po kapag... Um, during first day up to first month of schooling, kapag ganun po yung feeling nila na wala silang friend, hindi sila nalalove ng teacher, hindi po sila may engganyong pumasok. And once the child enters your classroom, make sure that you can make them feel that they are important. Mahalaga po iyon sa mga bata dahil nararamdaman nila. Children are very sensitive when it comes to their emotions. So, yun po yung bilin sa atin ni Pestalozzi. Make your uh, classroom an emotionally um, welcoming. Okay po. Or secure environment. Number two, instruction should follow the generalized process of human conceptualization that begins with sensation. Yan po yung sinasabi ko kanina that children learn through their senses. Okay? So, ini-emphasize ng number two na major premise na emphasizing sensory learning. Um, kasama po dito, sa process na ito, yung former clear concepts from sense impressions. So, Pestalozzi designed object lessons in which children guided by teachers examine the form, shape, number, quantity, weight of objects, and name them after direct experience with them. Okay? For example, meron po akong lapis. So, a lesson through object. Okay? Children, this is a pencil. What is the color of the pencil? So, the children, through their senses, they can answer me. Through their eyes, they can say, Teacher, that is color orange. So, is it long or short? So, they may say, teacher, that is long. Okay? So, yan po yung sinasabi ni Pestalozzi na learning through uh, experiences. Nakikita nila, na describe nila. Pwede pa rin natin itanong, children, is this hard or soft? So, pwede natin ipahawak and then they may say, children, that, a teacher, it is hard. Okay? And, through simpleng object lang ito, it is only a pencil, pero marami na silang Matututunan dito. What is the use of a pencil? So, ang dami na nating may tatanong. Ito yung sinasabi ni Pestalozzi 
ng object teaching. Sabi niya dito, object teaching was the most popular and widely developed element of pestalozianism. Pestalozianism. Okay? So, sa kanya pala galing yung object lesson kay Pestalozzi. See, yun ang isang mahalagang contribution niya in education. So, naalala ko po when I was in grade 1, my teacher told us to go outside, lalo na po kapag uh, oras ng mathematics. Sabi niyang teacher namin, o luwagas kayo, kumuha kayo ng mga bato. Kasi math. No? And we, we are going to count and add. So, we use stones to solve math problems. That is one or uh, one way of pestalozianism or method of pestalozzi or way of teaching through pestalozzi's method. Ginamit din ni pestalozzi ang kanyang object lesson or learning through object lesson in science. Kipo. So on guided field trips, children explore the surrounding countryside observing the local natural environment, topography, and um, economy. So, naisip ko po that it might be na kay Pestalozzi galing ang idea ng field trip. Okay po? Para maaral ang mga bagay-bagay o yung mga educational um, sites through field trips. Like yung nature, uh, or ano-ano pang mga establishments regarding education like science, animals, at marami pa pong iba. This time, I want to share with you the theory of education of Pestalozzi. He has seven theories. And the first one is um, theory of value. What knowledge and skills are worthwhile learning? What are the goals of education? Since the goal of education is to educate the whole child by balancing hands, heart, and head, Pestalozzi argued that the knowledge and skills that are most important to learn are arithmetic, geography, science, music, drawing, language, and physical education. He saw arithmetic as the most important because it is based on sensory experiences. Di ba po? Ginagamit natin yung hands for counting, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And kaya sa day-to-day -day activities natin, magagamit niyan. Natin ang arithmetic. Okay? So, for example, kakain kayo. O how many are you nakakain? So, pwede nyo nang i-count yon So, that is arithmetic. And, sabi po ni Pestalozzi, according to Pestalozzi, part of the arithmetic that children should be taught is how to understand numbers and how to how to and to make four. Papaano yun nangyayari? Okay. To do this, he encouraged mothers to let their children count objects found at home. Okay po, I do this with my son. Sabi ko sa kanya, O oh, Alu, um, how many, kunwari po, nasa garden kami? Alu, there are flowers. Can you count them? So, sinasabi ko na po sa kanya and natututututo na po siya ng konting magbilang. He is 3 years old. For example, may doggies or cats na nandyan nakaupo sa, sa sahig. No? There are 3 cats. For example, oh, there are, can you count the cats? Oh, bibilangin niya, Mama, there are 3 cats. Oh, what are the colors of the cats? And he will say, Mama, it's orange, white, and black. So, with those regular conversation, marami na pong natututunan ang bata. And that is math, and that is also reading, yung colors, okay? So, um, when it comes to the studies of geography and science, Pestalozzi made it so that the students would learn about both form an entirely hands-on approach by taking walking tours of their neighborhoods while looking at the environment around them. They would also see the types of landforms and weather patterns of the specific area. Kasi po, di ba, pag pinalabas natin, ginagawa ko rin po ito when I was teaching preschool. Pinapalabas ko, for example, ang lesson namin is about weather. Children, uh, merong weather song. What is the weather, the weather today? What is the weather, the weather today? What is the weather, the weather today? Today is... So, I will let them answer. 
Today is a sunny day. Okay. So, yun po. About science. And for Pestalozzi, he viewed music as an important part of elementary curriculum. Naniniwala rin po ako dito that music is an important part of the curriculum. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga preschool. He believed that music would be the key to a moral education because in his words, music speaks to the heart. And for me, ang music po ay nagagamit din. Nakaka nakaka-prolong kasi siya ng retention ng uh, yung sa memory ng mga bata and maraming values na matututunan through music na alala ko po while I am studying this uh, life of Pestalozzi um, kapag po minsan bad mood ang aking anak I will sing to him Even if you're angry tell you me how you feel nice and slow nice and slow So others understand you. Alam niya rin po yung song na yun. Kaya pag kinanta ko na yun sa kanya, medyo bumabait na. Parang, oh, sinasabi niya na yung reason. Bakit siya uh, naiinis, what he wants, the toy, gano'n. And kapag gusto niya ng story, he will sing it to me. Nakakatuwa. Uh, he will sing, uh, uh, story, story, it's time to read the story. And kapag inaantok na siya, meron din siyang song. Let's all count sheep, count one, two, three, until we sleep. Let's all count sheep. Tapos, unti-unti, matutulog na siya. So, it is very important to, uh, sabi ko nga, preschool age music. And, through kung makakapag-music na tayo at young age, na-improve din yung kanilang uh, uh, speech no? and vocabulary. So, ang daming naitutulong talaga po ng music sa buhay ng isang bata. And, music po, ginagawa rin yan, uh, nire-ready niya yung uh, mood ng bata kapag mag-start na po kaya ng lesson or kung gagamitin niyo siyang motivation or whatsoever. Okay? So, ang dami. So, Pestalozzi saw physical education as important because in his time, physical education was neglected And children were not allowed to move in the classroom. Kaya nga, nasulat niya yung book niya na Gertrude, no? Na against siya dun sa masyadong bookish. At nakaupo lang. Root, memorization. Memorize ka na lang ng memorize. So, for him, dahil nga siya ay learning through experiences, mahalaga din yung naikikilos at naigagalaw yung uh, katawan ng isang bata. At marami rin matututunan through Uh, body language or actions. Second theory is theory of knowledge. What is knowledge? How is it different from a belief? What is a mistake? What is a lie? Knowledge is the information that someone receives as a result of learning and searching for answers. So, na na natin. Yan yung knowledge. Pwede, nat pwede natin i-research. Okay? While Um, belief, ito naman yung perception natin or pinaniniwalaan natin. And, sabi dito sa article, hindi daw ito debatable, yung belief. Kasi sarili mo itong paniniwala. Okay? Um, mistakes are something that people make when they assume something that may not be true. Pestalozzi mentioned how the most important mistake of education is that too much is expected of the child and too many of the topics only appear to be something but are nothing. Alam nyo, minsan masyado tayong expectant sa mga bata na akala natin kaya na nilang matutunan. Pero yun pala ay hindi pa rin. So, ang ending, nabibigo tayo. And at the same time, may mga parents din na masyado rin expectant sa kanilang mga anak. So, kapag may hindi naka-perfect sa exam, syempre umiiyak yung bata, hindi napo-frustrate din ang magulang. So, ano ang gagawin natin with this problem? Uh, do not expect too much, pero we teach our children na to do their best. No? Ayan. So, a lie naman. A lie in contrast to a mistake is when someone knows that What they are saying is not true is not the truth but they chose to say it 
Anyways, hindi na nga totoo, gusto mo pang sabihin or inuulit-ulit mo pang sabihin. Third theory. The theory of human nature. What is human being? How does it differ from other species? Okay? Are we different from other species? Yes, we are very different and we are the most special creation. Okay? Because in the book of Genesis, it says that we were created in the image of God. Okay? Kawangis natin ang Panginoon. And the reason why, our, why we are very different from other species is that meron tayong mind to think, to reason out. Okay? Kaya nating mag-decide. Kaya nating uh, gamitin ang utak natin for good and for evil. Okay? As Pestalozzi explains, this human beings are able to use powers that set us apart from other species. As Pestalozzi explains, this include intellectual, practical, and moral powers. Human beings are able to experience things differently than other species in the world, intellectual and smart. Pestalozzi believes that in order for us humans to be intellectual, we must become aware of our five senses, seeing, tasting, feeling, smelling, and hearing. Okay? Without these important five senses, there is no way we can be intellectual because we would not be aware of what is happening around us and in the outside world. Okay? So, the most important part of human being is the moral powers of the heart which makes us feel all types of emotions. Diba? Nararamdaman natin lahat. Meron tayong yan. Galit, puot, hinanakit. Nararamdaman natin yan. Love, awa, compassionate. Diba? Ayan. Pestalozzi ranked this power as number one in his list because it is feelings of concern, compassion, gratitude, grief, joy, pride, and others that truly make us different than animals. It is our conscience that guides us, and according to human na nature, from Pestalozzi's view, man follows his conscience. Conscience, okay? Man follows his conscience, okay po? So, yan po ay ilan sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo ay different from other species. Ako po, hindi po ako naniniwala sa theory ni Darwin, ni Darwin that we are from a monkey or ape or ang pinanggalingan natin ay hayop. I don't believe in that theory. Mas gusto ko pa yung we are created in God's image. The fourth theory is the theory of learning. What is learning? How are knowledge and skills acquired? Okay. For Pestalozzi, he wished to have the students learn by a hands-on approach. This means that given tools and a simple overview of what they will accomplish, students should be able to go out and gather information to come up with answers of their own. So, sila po ang makakadiskubre ng sagot or ng kanilang mga hinahanap. Okay? Children shouldn't be given answers, but instead, they should arrive at answers themselves. So, ano naman ang pumapasok dito? Experimentation, observation. Okay po? Yan. Pestalozzi saw that knowledge that led to efficiency in useful doing, practical, was of real use to humans. The fifth theory is theory of transmission. Who is to teach? By what methods? What will the curriculum be? Siyempre po, sa unang question, who is to teach, ay tayo po mga teacher ay kasama doon. Pero hindi po tayo ang una. Alam niyo po ba kung sino? For Pestalozzi, he believes that parents, particularly, may naka-parenthesis, naka mother, needed to be the child's first Teacher, tayo pong nanay ang mga unang guro ng ating mga anak. Sorry po sa mga tatay, nanay po ang nakalagay dito sa article. Ayan. The home was the first and best school there could be. Oh, ang unang school ng mga bata ay ang ating tahanan. Parents and home 
or parents and the home life was supposed to be a social teacher that taught children the natural experiences needed to expand the child's moral, intellectual, and technical powers within themselves. Okay? So, sa tahanan po talaga lahat, unang natututunan. Kasi ikaw ang magtuturo how to give, di ba? Kapag baby pa, oh, you share. Share your toy. Share your food. Be nice. Remember to say po and opo. Pag hindi nagpupo, ano po? Di ba? Ginagano natin ang ating mga bata. And we teach them how to obey. Obey mama, obey daddy. Okay? Parents were to be the first teacher in child's life because it was through them that children were to learn right from wrong. Again, mga parents, nakatulad ko. We teach our children what is right and what is wrong. Okay? Okay. So, yan. So, pag hindi natin na ituro right, what is right and wrong, it would be hard for the teachers in the school to further the child's education. Ang kapatid ko po is a, is a public school teacher. Alam niyo po ang primary problema niya. Behavior ng estudyante. Bakit? Nagmumura. Ang gugulo. Ano? So, bakit? Because hindi rin po, sorry sa mga magulang na yon pero as observed, hindi rin po masyadong naasikaso o natuturuan sa loob ng tahanan ang mga anak. Ayan. So, again, parents, we are the first teacher of the children. No? Tayo ang unang guru. Okay. When it came to teachers teaching the children in the school setting, Pestalozzi believed first that the teachers were to be experts not only in subjects, but also in knowledge of the child. Sino ba ang estudyante mo? Ano ang pangalan? Ano ang background? Okay? So, uh, they also had to be kind. Ang mga guru daw po ay dapat maging kind, open-hearted, and cheerful as well as affectionate. Kaya nga po, ayaw ni Pestalozzi ang corporal punishment. Ang gusto niya po, maiparamdam ang pagmamahal sa isang learner. Okay. Sabi niya po, according to him, ang pagmamahal sa isang learner o ang pagbibigay ng education sa isang learner is for all. Ibig sabihin, rich or poor, pareho lang yan. Handicap or normal, they both deserve education. For Pestalozzi, teachers were also not supposed to impose his or her attitudes and ideas on the students, but rather, they were to encourage the child. The sixth theory of Pestalozzi is theory of society. What is society? What institutions are involved in the educational process? Pestalozzi saw society as a group of individuals who live together and help one another. Pestalozzi said that humans cannot live without the help of our fellow men. Di ba po? We are not an island or no man is an island. We need one another. Para sa mga bata, uh, observation ko po sa anak ko, wala siyang kalaro, lalo na ngayon, pandemic. Pero kailangan niya po ng kalaro, may isa po siyang kalaro. And he's very happy tuwing darating. At sasabihin niya, Mama, I have a playmate. Ayun. Very important ang companionship and relationship. Okay. So, as humans, we are social beings who live with other social beings. And this is what makes society. The last theory is theory of consensus. Why do people disagree? How is consensus achieved? Whose opinion takes precedence? So, consensus naman, hinahanap natin kung um, sino ang mas nakakaangat, mas nakakaraming agree or disagree. Okay. Pestalozzi became known as the father of modern pedagogy. 
because of his theory on a science that would make education ethical. Consensus is achieved more times than known by taking a vote and having typically having the majority take precedent. In regards to Pestalozzi and his theory in elementary education, it is safe to say that those who were in favor of his theories and methods were the ones whose opinions took precedence. This is clear because of how famous Pestalozzi became in, a, in the area of education. It is also clear that more often than not, people were in favor of Pestalozzi's views because he ended up becoming one of the most influential persons in modern education. Actually po, I was looking nung nasa college ako, sino nga ba yung uh, educator na hinangaan ko noon habang pinag-uusapan namin itong mga philosophers? And na-discover ko, it was Pestalozzi. Bakit? Nung inaaral namin yun, I realized, uh, natutunan ko na siya ay isang philosopher, educator na mapagmahal sa mga bata. Nakita ko pa yung picture na may mga kandong-kandong siyang mga bata. Alam niyo po, Pestalozzi's heart ay open sa mga bata. He opened schools. No? Nagbuka siya, nagpatayo siya ng mga schools for children. At mostly yung mga nag-aaral sa mga schools niya ay mga poor children. Ayan. So, ah, uh, Kaya, I also believe dito that Pestalozzi is one of the most influential persons in modern education. And, ang kanya rin pong um, contribution in, contributions in education, ito rin po yung sinundan ng mga schools in the United States of America. So, this is all my report about Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi. Learning through Hans, heart, and mind.